Okay, I'll try to explain this question here. So, um, it says a classic children's toy consists of 11 different blocks that combine to form a rectangle showing a man's face. Each block has four sides with alternatives for that part of the face. Okay, four sides. Um, for example, the block for the right eye might have a closed eye on one side, a partially open eye on another, and so on. A child can turn any block and so change that part of the face and in this way many different faces can be formed. The next two exercises refer to this. All right. So question 10 says how many different faces can be formed by the children's toy, right? So most important thing to remember is these this is not, you know, this these are blocks. How many blocks do we have? We have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 blocks well told us there are 11 different blocks and each block has one two three four different sides okay so I, I don't have these children's blocks but but just imagine you can turn it in this way one two three four but not that way right not you you're not using the ends you're just using the faces right so uh, one two three four right um, so the point is, if you just talk um, the, let's see, what should we do? Uh, well, if we just took the head and this, the, I, I, for some reason I feel like you should start with the head. Um, so if we took um, this, this top block here, there are four different ways of turning this top block and then if you take the left eyebrow for example right there are four different ways of turning that so if you just had if you were just looking at these two blocks okay um if if the uh, head was in is in position 1 which is that with the hair um in that in that style then this left eyebrow could be as it is now looking kind of normal so we'll call that position one or it could be uh, you could have uh, position two um, or a third way or a fourth way so uh, anyway so so in other, in other words the um, the hair could be just like that and then this could be the eyebrow so this is the way the eyebrow is and then this could be really raised eyebrow this could be um, third way could be I don't know some sort of a, a frown of an eyebrow and this could be some sort of a um, relaxed eyebrow I'm just making it up um, so there's one two three four ways the left eyebrow could change <coughs> and the 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 hair could be the same right so those four ways with the hair as it as it is there and then with the hair could be other ways the hair could be um, all messy right not comb very well and now you could you do your your four different eyebrows uh, um, just kind of regular raised frowning and uh, relaxed right so now that is uh, four four of the way so this would be the hair in position two and these are the one two three four ways of having the left eyebrow so now we've got um, now we've got four more different combinations right or you could have no hair could have a bald head right bald head and the eyebrows in those four different uh, positions left eyebrow so that's another four ways or we could have um, maybe one of the blocks has a punk hairstyle and um, uh, and then the eyebrows are in those four ways right okay so that's four more ways so just with the first two blocks how many different combinations have we got 
So the first two blocks we have 16 combinations, don't we? 16 combinations. So that's just the first two blocks, right? But the the interest, the amazing thing is for every one of those. So 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 if you have two blocks, you can just go four times four. That's 16 different uh, types of face just with two blocks, right? But of course, once you add on the next block, if we go to the next. Um, block so this is the hair and then we've got left eyebrow right eyebrow four ways here four ways here uh, but then you can take any one of these combinations and and for each of these combinations you can change the the right eyebrow to be something different in four different ways and so for every one of these there are four more different types of face that we can make or different 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 types of picture let's say right so basically for for using just the three blocks we could take some uh, random like um, the the bald head with the uh, frowning eyebrow okay the bald head with the frowning eyebrow the bald head with the frowning eyebrow the bald head with the frowning eyebrow, right? And now there are, so that's just one out of 16, and for every one of those, there are four more different types of face because the right eyebrow could be normal, it could be raised, it could be uh, frowning as well, or it could be just relaxed. Okay, so that is four more ways uh, to make a different uh, face. Uh, for every one of these 16. So you can take those 16 and the, so you can take those 16 and you can times that by 4 to get um, 64 new uh, 64 different combinations, right? And so each time we add a block, we have four more we we times by 4 the number of possible faces, all right? And so that this is this is pretty amazing because if you work it out, can you can you work it out now? How many different faces can be formed by the children's toy? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven blocks. Can you work out how many different faces you can get? So each block gives you four more possibilities, right? So we get 4 times 4 for the first two, and then times 4 for the next one, times 4 for the next one, times 4. Nine, ten, eleven. right? So that is 4 to the power of 11, right? Seven, eight, nine, ten, 11. Yeah. 4 to the power of 11 in your calculator, 4 to the power of 11. So it's a pretty amazing little child's toy like that and there's so many different faces and they'll probably never make them all, it's impossible. It'll just take too long, they'd have to be playing with it, um, you know, all, you know, too much. So that's four one nine four three zero four, right? Over four million different types of faces with the child's toy, right? So that's question 10. Now let's have a look at question 11. Um, if a child makes one change each minute and spends 48 hours a week changing faces, how many years will it take to see every possible face? A change every minute, 48 hours per week. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so I'm just going to break that down. Um, let's see. One change each minute, 48 hours a week. So how many changes per week? Let's get that. Um, well, it'd be um, 60, change every minute, change every, okay, so 60 minutes um, times uh, for, for each hour. 
Um, let's do something cool. 60 changes for every one hour. Um, 48 hours per for every one week. Um, uh, and then we oh how many years okay so we got to go from weeks to years so uh, 52 weeks in a year 52 weeks for one year right so now we got changes per year okay that let's work that out um, 60 times 48 times 52 I just did a little bit of unit analysis there for fun. And you see how the hours cross cancel, the weeks cross cancel. Uh, you didn't have to do that. But 60 times 48 times 50. 60 times 48 times uh, 52. So 149760. 149760. Um, changes per year and we want to do that over 4 million changes okay so how many years what do you think we should do so we've got 4 million different faces about an, an almost 150,000 change, uh, changes per year so how many years to show all of the faces Oops, sorry, sorry. This this many uh, different faces and uh, this many changes per year. How many? What would we do with these numbers? We divide, right? So you, you take your four one nine four three zero four and divide it by your one four nine uh, seven six zero, right? So that um, divided by one four nine seven six zero oops and we get twenty eight point zero zero something so we'll just call that approximately twenty eight years right so twenty eight years if we're changing each face making one change every minute on the face and playing with the toy for 48 hours per day, or per week, uh, it's 28 years to see all the faces. So there you go.